three, welcome to your comprehension video for Tuesday the 9th of February. This is your video if you're somebody who has the year two booklet. So our learning objective today is can I answer a variety of questions based on a text? Before we do that though we are going to warm up and we are going to look at synonyms today. I'm going to have a little chat about what synonyms are and complete our warm-up task. So make sure you've got either your purple book or a whiteboard and a pen. So this is your activity for your warm-up today. So we've got some synonym roles, like synonym roles. So a synonym is a word that means exactly or nearly the same as another word. So your two words today are good and scared. So you've got to think of as many synonyms for the word good. So another word that means the same as good. So a synonym is where it means exactly the same or almost the same. And your other word is scared. So what's another word for scared? Now I'm going to show you what I mean, but with a different word today. So my word is bad. Now I've got to come up with synonyms for the word bad. So words that mean the same. Now you could either draw a synonym roll on your whiteboard or in your book, or if you find this a little bit tricky, you could just write the word bad. I'll show you underneath. So you could write the word, underline it. And then you can come up with your synonyms. So, when I think of the word bad, what does bad mean? Oh, I might say awful. Something's bad, it's awful. Something's bad, it might be terrible. Oops, I've done my eye a little bit big there. Get my rubber and just make it a bit smaller so it's in line with the rest of my letters. There we go. So, bad, we've got awful, terrible. Can you think of one? What's another word for bad? Have a little think, there are lots of them. I might say something's rotten. I might say horrible. I'm sure on yours you can come up with four for each word too. So again, if you don't want to draw the rubble, just write them underneath. So you'd underline the word and then you write your synonyms below like that. So you can do it in your book or you can do it on a whiteboard. So remember, you don't have to do the word bad. You can if you want, it's extra. But your two words that you need to find synonyms for are good and scared. So words that mean the same. So focus on one at a time. So you might start with good. What's another word for good? I'll give you one. Super. Think about all the things I say about your work. And I'm sure you'll find lots of synonyms for good. And then scared. When you're really scared, you might be petrified. So there's an example for each one. I'm sure you can come up with around four as my target. Uh, but I'd be really impressed if you could get more. Okay, pause the video now to complete your warm up. Okay, our text today is on page 24 and it's called Water Sports. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each section. And I'm not going to read it all to you, but I'm going to go through some of the tricky words and go through some of the phonic sounds you will need to help you sound some of the words out. Okay, so we've got the title of Water Sports and I'm going to read the sentence here, which is introducing the text. So there are lots of different sports you can do in water. You might do water sports in a lake, in a river, or in the sea. So that's introducing the text. And then 
we've got different sports and we've also got different names as well. So we've got Susanna, who's kayaking, Elias, who's surfing, Flo, who's windsurfing, and we've got Toby, who's bodyboarding. So these subheadings in bold, which tell us the person's name and the sport, tell us which sports in each section, in each paragraph. So those are your subheadings. So your title is water sports and each sport has got its own little paragraph, its own section and the words in bold are the subheadings. So let's look at the first one. So I've already read this name and I thought that the tricky words in this text are some of the names that are a little bit unusual. So we've got Zuzanna and we've got the title subheading of kayaking and I've underlined the tricky word of kayak. Okay, because if we sound that out, we'd perhaps be tempted to do the A sound, kayak, but it sounds like I, kayak. Say it with me, kayak. Okay, another tricky word I've highlighted there, underlined, is through. Okay, we thought that might have been a bit tricky for some of us to sound out if we don't already know it. So we've got kayak and through. Now, we're going to go through some of our phonics that we will need to read this subheading. Okay, so we've got this sound here. Say that sound out loud for me. Okay, so you might have said ow for cow, but in this section, it's making an o sound, like o for bow. So we've got o for bow or row. And then we've, can you say this sound? Well done, if you know it's the same. We've got o for boat. Okay, so we've got o for bow or row and then we've got o for boat so two different ways of making the o sound okay can you remember this sound here say it out loud if you can well done if you know it's r r for car so we've got o o r and can you tell me this sound i'll give you a clue it's ear so we've got O, O, R, E. What I'd like you to do is pause the video now to read this section out loud for me. You might want to underline some of the tricky words to help you remember and remember our phonic sounds. Pause now. Okay, you should have read that section. We're now on to the next subheading. And I've underlined the name, it's a tricky name to say, it's Elias, L-I-S. And Elias is surfing, okay? So I've underlined the word board, okay? It's on line two at the end, board, losing, balance, and usually. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video now and underline those words. Elias, board, losing, balance, usually. And have a go at just practicing saying the words to make sure that you remember how to read them. Okay, right then, let's go through some of our phonic sounds that you will need for this section. Say this one out loud. Well done if you said er. Uh. It's a different, it's an alternate way. Okay, so typically when we've got the er uh sound, we often come across er for er. Uh. But we've got u and an r for the er uh sound. And look, s er uh, thing. So we've got er. Uh. We all know this one. Shout it at me. Well done if you said ng. Ng. Okay, do you know what this one is? It's a split digraph. Split digraph. Say it out loud. Well done if you said 
I, and then we've got, say it with me, ow. Okay, so we've got a, ing, I, ow. So those are some of the sounds that are in that subheading and in that paragraph. So what you could do is you could perhaps underline all the sounds and have a go at sounding each word out. And then I'd like you to pause the video and read this section out loud for me. Okay, next up we've got Flo, who is windsurfing. Okay, so I've underlined some tricky words again. I'd like you to underline them with me. On line two, we've got the word again, board. So we've just had that in the previous one. So we should re start remembering it now, board. And we sound it out because it's got the O and the A. Now we've just said that's an O sound, but owed. I know it doesn't say that, so it's a bit of a tricky word to sound out. That's why I've underlined it. So we've got board, parents, and again, we've done off a car, so we might be tempted to say parents. We know that isn't right, is it? So we've got board, parents, and then we've got this word here. We've got young. Now, young has got the this sound in, and we know we've just said that's an ow sound, and if we sounded it out, y ong. We know that isn't right. So underline those words for me so you know that they are bored parents and young they are some of the trickier ones to sound out okay let's go to back to our phonics then so we'll need these sounds to sound out our words we've got a well done if you said it out loud so we've got a for rain and we've got another a sound but this time it's our split diagraph so we've got A for lake or rake, okay? And it's a split diagraph because it's always a letter E. So if it was lake or rake, it would be a kick in K. Okay, so it's a split diagraph A sound. So we've got A for rain, and then we've got A split diagraph. And then we should all remember this sound, say it with me, E. Okay, so those are some sounds that will help you to read this paragraph. So pause the video now to read it out loud. Okay, next up we've got Toby who is doing some body boarding. Oh, we've got a compound word there. So we're two words where it's pushed together. Body boarding. Okay, so I've underlined these tricky words of body boarding easier, balance, and we've got the word board again. You should remember that spelling of board. If you're still a bit unsure about reading the word, write it on your whiteboard a few times and say it out loud. Board, board, board. Keep writing it and the more you write it and look at that word, the easier it will be to read it as well. So we've got easier, balance and board. Okay, let's look at our phonics. We've just add this sound, okay, we just had an E sound and then we've got another E sound, this time it's E for beach, okay, and then shout this sound out if you know it, what sound does that make? Well done if you said I, I for pie, okay, so pause the video now and read this paragraph for me. Okay, now you should have read all of the text now, so every section should have been read. And I'm going to talk through some of the questions. Now, I'm not going to look at every question and read it out loud and talk about how to find the answer. But what I am going to say is that finding the answers today should be much easier. I wonder if you already know why it will be easier to find the answers. Have a little think, what is on the, on the page that will make it easier? 
Well done. If you know it's because we've got subheadings and we've got different paragraphs and different sections, so it'll be easier to find the answer. So the first one is, where does Susanna go kayaking? Well, straight away, it's telling me what paragraph it's going to be in. Kayaking. Okay, so I'd go back to my text and I would know that I can find the answer to that question in the top paragraph that says kayaking. My next question is about windsurfing. So I know that I'd have to go to the subheading that said windsurfing to find my answer. The next one, why does Flo have to go windsurfing with her parents? Windsurfing again, so another answer will be found in that paragraph. Number four, why does Toby think bodyboarding is easier than surfing? So I know I just need to look in the subheading that says bodyboarding. So that will really help you with answering and finding those answers today. So make sure you identify what water sport the question is asking you about and you only have to look in that paragraph to find your answer. Okay. Once you have done that, you can then have a go at your all-star challenge. Okay, now your all-star challenge is in your purple book, or you could even do it in a whiteboard if you like. It says write a sentence to tell me which water sport you like to try and why. So have a little look at the text. So which water sport would you like to try? Now some of you might have tried one or two of them. I think a few of you might have done some bodyboarding if you've gone to the beach. Okay, so we've got bodyboarding, windsurfing, surfing and kayaking. So you've got to choose one that you'd like to have a go of. Now, the one I'd like to have a go of, I think, would be kayaking and the reason I'd like to have a go at kayaking is because I'm not very good at balancing so I think I'd find balancing on a surfboard and windsurfing a little bit too tricky so I'd like to have a go at kayaking and that's my reason because I'm not very good at balancing so I think I'd be much better using the paddle in the boat to help me Okay, so which one would you like to have a go at? Right, so those are your tasks for today. I can't wait to see how you get on. Before I go, I just want to give a big shout out to somebody who's doing amazing in literacy. And that person is Kevin. So a big well done to Kevin. Your work has really, really impressed me. Now, it's not just Kevin who's been amazing. It's lots of you. So I can't wait to give more shout outs throughout the week. See you tomorrow.